May this transmission reach you, wherever you find yourself. The scepter will rest true in the hands of its wielder, but a message comes with no such guarantee. In the aftermath of the Witnesses' attack, the Vanguard called for aid. On behalf of the Awoken people, I answered. We now face a war on two fronts. One on the far reaches of the system, and the other at your home, Earth. Continue your fight against the Voice in the Darkness. I will assist as best I can in your absence. But even my powers have their limits. Return when you are able. Your people need their heroes. Hello, Guardian. Good to see you again. Wish it were under better circumstances. I don't believe we've met. Devrim K. Velask. Velask. I am Mizrax, Kel of the House of Light. I'd heard the Vanguard had Elixni allies in the city. Good to have you here. Yes, many have come to the Vanguard's aid. Mara Kel is using her light to protect us. Kel, there is no need for honorifics. And my power is not of the light. Afraid we must cut the pleasantries short. In the aftermath of the attack on the Traveler, the Shadow Legion has begun taking captives to the pyramids. Amanda Holiday is... We cannot reach her on any frequency. Holiday is out there. Of that I'm certain. I'll continue scanning the comms. Knowing her, she's up to something. The only question is what precisely. Give me a moment to prepare the LZ and I'll brief you. Until then. Together we will save the captives and Amanda. The light provides. You will need more than the light to stand against the witness. But I can provide. Now go, and I will focus on the battles to come. All right, Guardian. I'll keep it brief. The Witness took a swing at the Traveler, and when we tried to intervene, our pilots went down. Amanda Holiday among them. The survivors, what there were of them, went to ground near Trostland and Old Russia. Now the damned Shadow Legion is picking through the wreckage and capturing prisoners. We're running rescue ops in the EDZ now. Crow has gone ahead to scout the defenses. He's reporting the Pyramid Outpost is utterly impenetrable. Fortunately, the Queen is on our side. Mara is imbuing you with otherworldly power. Awoken magics and all that. I'm not sure how it works myself, but if she believes you can make it through, I'm not about to disagree. I'm glad you're here, Guardian. I'll see you in the field. Repeat emergency transmission. This is Amanda Holiday. My ship was disabled during combat and I was forced down in the EDZ. While I was waiting for evac, I saw a Shadow Legion patrol leading a group of captives to a pyramid. I'm sneaking into the facility with the prisoners. I'll bring my comms along as a beacon. Whoever hears this, tell the Guardian to gear up and follow my signal. I'll be waiting. Repeat emergency transmission. This is Amanda Holiday. Does anyone read me? There she is. I'm so glad to hear your voice. Hey, Devram. Good to hear you too. I was starting to worry I'd snuck in here for nothing. Quite clever of you. A bit risky, though. Can't say I condone it. Risky? Ain't you the fella who once ran a cabal blockade just for fresh eggs? Guilty as charged. Just hold tight, my dear. Reinforcements are on their way. Where in the facility are you, Amanda? I'm in the cell block with the prisoners. The Guardian can follow my comm signal right to us. They've hit a bit of a roadblock at the moment, but fear not, they're en route. We will breach the pyramid not through its walls, but through the very fabric of reality. Harness my power and enter the Ascendant Plane. I must admit, I had several good ideas for this jailbreak, but traversing an alternate reality was not among them. Guardian's doing what now? 
I swear, the longer I know y'all, the stranger things get. Stranger still, now that the witness has arrived. Eliminate the Taken Blight, and summon a Balefire in its place. It will consecrate this place and drive the darkness out before it. Whatever you did out there must have worked, Guardian. You got base security chasing their tails. Looks like they're deploying some heavy firepower to stop you, though. There's something up ahead. It's... bringing back a memory, or... Aldrin's memory, I guess. A familiar voice. Be careful, Guardian. Banish these Taken Defilers. They are but empty shells filled with the desires of a greater will. Trust in your light, and they cannot stop you. I tested the perimeter of that pyramid for hours, but couldn't find any entry points. And now the Guardian just walks in? It depends on one's point of view. The walls of the prison may be impenetrable, but the walls between worlds are not. You never did have much respect for boundaries, did you? I see you on my radar, Guardian. The prison cells should be just ahead. The head guard's a real piece of work, though, so watch yourself. Extraction confirmed. The hostages are on their way back to the farm. Good work, everyone. Guardian, my ship's nearby, but she took a beating. I could use your help getting her out of here. Hey, Guardian. Thanks for your help back there. Just need to clear out this... Nice shot. Right through the heart. Thanks. Sorry. We thought you were Shadow Legion. Easy mistake. I'm just so beefy. You're leaving again? Don't you ever slow down? Nope, not when there's work to be done. Amanda! When your ship... I thought I might never see you again. No time for that kind of talk. I'm here now. Let's get moving. I sensed your triumph through the choke of the pyramid's suppression. With the scepter in hand, you were able to move through the depths of the Ascendant Plane. It is as I hoped. Your light sings with the incantations I send forth, strengthening you in ways not seen since the Seven Paladins. Since the Queen's Guard. Powerful as I am, I cannot be everywhere at once. But the Guardians can. So, I entrust you with my favor. Take it. Breach the Ascendant Plane. Walk the ley lines within, and banish those who would oppose you. I do not ask for fealty in return. I would not kneel in your place, as favor with condition remains a shackle. No. Claim this power freely, as your strength serves my kingdom and your own. Let it flow through you, Queen's Guard. And I shall knight you myself. When the last city called for aid, I pledged the Awoken to the cause without hesitation. 
The Vanguard has helped my people many times in the past. But what you face now is no simple, endless curse or vengeful God King. We Awoken were first struck when we came between the Traveler and its Hunter, and I chose my people above either one. The choice has come again, and my answer is no different. I do not blindly defend the light, and I do not listen to the voice in the darkness. Instead, I choose that which holds light and dark together in hands and heart. I choose you. Now, humans, exos, cousins all, detach, fall forward, number among the first, awaken as Queen's God. Solve apart. I tried to, but it wasn't right. I wish I could see you another way, but I don't. I, I can't. Not yet. Tell me what to do, and I'll do it. It's not like that. I know it ain't fair to you, and maybe I'll feel different someday, but not now. I understand. There's tough times ahead of us. We gotta work together. It's like y'all's ghosts always say. Eyes up, Guardian. Are you deceiving me, Guardian? This is Mizrax. There is a great conflux of Vex energies near your location. Are you able to investigate?
Defend yourself! The network will tear you apart! I am relieved you survived. You now hold forbidden data meant for deletion. The signal cries out. This data is what it desires. Guardian, this voice in the system, when it speaks, I sense a heart hunger, a, a great yearning. But there is also incredible pain, suffering deeper than I thought possible. We should do all we can to help. Tread carefully across the shifting network, Guardian. A powerful Vex mind lurks ahead. A terrible destroyer created to purge the system. The signal hides itself away in the network. But you must prepare to fight. Hey, Guardian. Been meaning to thank you for busting us all out of prison earlier. I heard you came back from Neptune just to help us out. It's near enough to make a girl tear up. <laughs> you wanna know what really got to me? At the farm? I heard some of the folks I was locked up with asking when they could get back out and look for more survivors. I mean, I expected from Guardians and the other pilots, but these were civvies, just folks who got caught up in the Shadow Legion sweep. I still wanted to help. I asked Mithrax to talk some sense into him, but he shrugged like three of his arms and said, The witness created heroes instead of victims. <laughs> I couldn't have said it better myself. Anyway, Shadow Legion's been sighted in the Cosmodrome, probably trying to pick up new prisoners. Come on, let's go be heroes. This is the first time the Cabal have deployed in the Cosmodrome since Keitel went after the Hive. I wonder what changed. The Shadow Legion are not the Cabal we are used to. We must not assume their strategies or tactics. They do not fight for honor or glory. They fight only for the Witness. I thought the Cosmodrome was dreary enough. But compared to this, it looks positively cheerful. That's saying a lot for someone who hangs out at the EDZ. Oh, I don't know. Trostland has a certain old world charm to it. We need to get you out more, Devram. After all this is over, how about I take you for a joyride? We'll see the sides. Good idea. I'll bring Mark. We'll make a double date. I never thought I'd see the inside of a pyramid, much less as a prisoner. When I was inside, I felt calm. Maybe I've been flying around with my hair on fire for too long. The path to discovery is filled with peril. This is a sign of bravery. Oh, I don't know about that. I still get plenty scared. Just not by danger. Damn. It's an ambush. How did they locate our portal so quickly? Hardly matters now. Keep a lookout for traps and push through, Guardian. Looks 
looks like the Guardian's back outside. Did you pull them out, Queen Mora? I did not. This was the will of the Defenders. That ain't good. Must have been one of their Scions. Those little guys are sharp. This setback is auspicious. The stronger the defense here, the weaker the attack on Neptune. Get to those bail fires. They're the key to turning this fight. Target the taken leadership and return their essences to the bail fires. I think I preferred fighting Gaul. Do you find Callus's Shadow Legion to be a more formidable enemy? Too early to say. But I understood the Reds. Look one of Gaul's soldiers in the eyes, and you'd at least see a soul behind them. Hello, Guardian. Though I suppose I should hail you as a fellow Queensguard now. When Mara performed her ritual, she knighted all of us, with and without the light. You light bearers are the only ones who can draw on her power, of course. But for the rest of us, like Ms. Holiday and Mr. Mithrax, it's nice to be included. Sir Devram K, Queensguard. Hmm, quite like the sound of that. I think when the witness did whatever it did to the Traveler, it sought to destroy our hope at the source. That didn't happen. Humans and Elixni, officers and civilians, we banded together. Stronger than before. That's what our enemies don't understand. When things are at their worst, that's when we are at our best. I'm looking forward to the battles ahead. Devrim, I had heard of you before our first meeting. Oh? Good things, I hope. There is much good, but you were feared as well. If my reputation is for keeping the people of the EDZ safe, then I don't regret it. But I hope we can work alongside one another now. We have one life, and our lives are not for us alone. Mine is for my daughter, and my house. Yours is for your partner and your people. We share much. Outside the city, we can't always depend on the Guardians, and the Traveler eh, has been somewhat inscrutable. I once believed that the Great Machine had brought the light to Reese and to the Guardians because they were worthy of it. Then I... I questioned this understanding. to ensure their safety. Now we can do so for each other, human and Elixni. Yes. I do not know the Great Machine's will, but the light provides. It does. Guardian. We've received intel that Brachus Zahn is supplying weapons to the Shadow Legion. My scions have already attempted their onslaught of Zahn's base, but I miscalculated the strength of this operation. You miscalculated? Yes. Do you have further questions? Right. Let's get them free. It seems this new Zahn has done some redecorating. Though I don't think I can call this an upgrade in terms of taste, but perhaps the cannons could be of use? Earlier, I informed the Empress we had already dealt with Zahn. Or at least I thought we had. 
but he's returned somehow. Names hold power. It is not unlikely this new Zahn is a successor who has taken up the mantle. Regardless, he must be stopped. Thank you, Guardian. I've instructed the Scions to aid you. Free the others and you will have a formidable team to face Brockus Zahn. We'll take all the help we can get. Well fought, Guardian. We've cut another head off the proverbial Hydra. Hydra have but one head, Devrim. Um, yes. Vex Hydra do. There's an old Earth mythological creature that... Uh, never mind. You would do well to leave your hide site to better understand our enemies. I'll do that. Ah, Guardian. Ghost. Lovely to see you at my doorstep again. Devrin! We have a Taken infestation I'd very much appreciate your help with. How bad is this infestation? You'll see soon enough. Hmm. That's a lot of blight. It certainly is. We're trying something new, courtesy of our Cabal allies. Using pyramid tech? Precisely. Protect that device and it'll clear out the blight. And how much has this been tested? It's being tested right now. By you. Of course. It's actually working. See? Nothing to worry about. Chimera ahead. When you kick a hornet's nest, surely one of them is bound to be a bit bigger than the rest. And fleshy? With tentacles? Debrim, have you seen a hornet recently? Right. Well, out it goes. And that's the last of them. Guardian, you have my thanks. Especially for continuing to keep the EDZ safe amongst all the hubbub going on so far from home. Home is where the Taken are, eh? Hail, Queen's Guard. I felt you reaching out. You shine as a beacon of ascendant power. Maintaining my connection is demanding, but by observing your astral wake, I am discovering ways through the ley lines that have never been charted before. As you move through the Ascendant Plane, you consecrate it on a paracausal level. Its waters fray and yield to your touch. The corruption within withers as you approach. For someone of your ability, one step through that darkness can equal a thousand on this plane. Ten thousand. Ten million. A Shadow Legion prison ship drifts above us amidst the stars, far beyond our range. Or so they believe. Come to me and I shall open a path. Show them. Nothing is outside your reach. The newest Shadow Legion prison is all the way up in orbit. That's too hot a drop, even for me. Distance is no obstacle for one traversing the Ascendant Plane. Show them, Guardian. I feel real lucky to know y'all. Who else would show me these other realities? Quite right. Even now, there's people in the outskirts who think the Material Plane is the only one. Sometimes I envy them. Yeah, sometimes ignorance is bliss. Especially when it comes to the Taken. Taken. I've been dealing with them in the EDZ for years. Only one way to be rid of them. Burn away the corruption with the power of your light. I've never seen anyone get that high up without a ship before. Hope the Guardian doesn't get vertigo. The thought of jumping those chasms puts me right off. My belfry is plenty high enough, thank you. Didn't she used to be a paratrooper, Devrim? I was. And I'm not keen to repeat the experience.
Your ghost can splice the local security system, but he will require your protection. Some of the response forces might have intel to speed up the hack. Keep your eyes open. Scouts report increased activity in the hangar. Perhaps they're trying to evacuate the captives? More likely they're falling back to an area with air support. That's what I would do. You pilots are all the same. Air support is your answer to everything. Damn right. Otherwise we wouldn't have any infantry left to buy us drinks. Enemy forces flow toward you. Ignite the bale fires to dispel their darkness. A recall order just went out to nearby ships, so keep an eye open for airborne reinforcements. Have you ever take a step back and think, how did I end up fighting an ancient evil? Uh, not often. This fight has been going on for long before we came along. It's just our turn. You never did meet a friendly face you wouldn't stick your neck out for. And Mark would hate it if I let anything happen to the Peregrine Opera House. No way around it, then. Guess we better save the day. Hey, Guardian. We were just grabbing a little downtime. Gotta celebrate your successes, you know? Amanda told me we must not forget to kick it back. <laughs> oh, we have accomplished much and saved many lives. That's right. There's no I in team, but there is an A and an M. Please don't tell folks I said that. But yeah, we're a team. Any door I can't hack open, you splice through. We are in this together. It is a privilege to join you. You and the Vanguard welcomed us as honored guests in your city. Guests? The city is your home. When I first showed up at the gates, I felt like I belonged. That's how it should be for everyone. I had thought you were born there. No, nope. I got there later. Same as you. Amanda, you know our story, but I would very much like to hear yours. I grew up on the road. Long as I could remember. My family had been walking toward the last city. My mama told me we'd be safe there. She said that was all that mattered. But at the time, all that mattered to me were the jump ships in the sky above. I thought they were the greatest thing I'd ever seen. My folks tried their best, but the road's a dangerous place. When the House of Winter attacked, my mama fought him off best she could. Even killed a captain before they shot her. Pneumonia got my daddy not long after. I'd heard tales of people resurrected, chosen for immortality, but not them. They were just gone. When I finally reached the last city, I knew my mama was right. I'd be safe there. I was finally home. I learned to fly as soon as I could reach the stick. I never had powers like the Guardians or a ghost to resurrect me. But in the cockpit, I'm every inch as tough. Every time I fly, I remember where I came from and who I'm fighting for. And that's all that matters. When was the last time you can remember we were at peace? Thank you, Amanda. For your story and your spirit. Yeah, well... We've come a long way, huh? 
Yes, we have. Hell of a time on that Shadow Legion ship, wasn't it? Of course, I joined for other reasons, too. When you heard the story, I needed a home, a family, some place to belong, just like Mithrax. He's amazing to work with. He's always so gentle around the tower. I forget he's an Elixni war captain. But man, I learned quick when we started tackling those prison transports. And once, he got jumped by two legionaries, and when I turned to help, he just shouted, You need not waste your shells! Man, he's a tough old bastard, and I absolutely love it. Bringing the fight to them for a change? That's the kind of thing I joined the Vanguard for. He's the best patrol partner I've had in years. But I gotta keep our comms closed. Last week, Devram heard me call him Craw Daddy. <laughs> Nearly laughed himself unconscious. Mizrax Kel. Aramis, I have nothing to say to you. I spared your life, and you used it to return to your hate and violence. I will not thank you for your mercy, or ask for your forgiveness. But I am not your enemy. You spoke this way before. I do believed your lies then. I will not do so now. I saved your daughter's life. I know she is the future of the Elixni. But the machine spawn will never allow us that future. Again and again they cut us down. When we seek to unify our houses. When we seek power for ourselves. They will never see you as their equal. And you believe that we are equals? You bow to the witness and a god of the hive. We are the leaders of our people. And we must find power where we can. You did the same when you chose to live amongst those who have slaughtered us for centuries. I have ended that violence. It has not ended. You just live behind our enemy's walls. Your house relies on hope as much as mine does. I want us to be free. To be gentle and care for each other. I want us to be weavers and dancers again. That is why you did not kill me, because you want this as well. But until we control our own future, the Elixni will never be these things again. Just gonna take... The shrill signal from earlier has resumed. It has been awaiting your return. It says the weapon it offered will give you increased access, but the path remains treacherous. Trust your weapons and your wits. May the light provide. All this radial area, I believe some humans call it Vex Milk. There is a simple poetry to the name, though it is factually incorrect on many levels. There is a fragment of data here, sent from a Vex Pyramidian. The Vex encounter a variable whose behavior intrigues them. It cannot be simulated or predicted. Its actions are, at times, Fiercely irrational. The variable draws close. It becomes part of the equation. It demands quadratic reciprocity. And then, there is only Vex. The variable is no more. Were these obstacles placed by the mysterious signal? Or as a response to its intrusion? Sense furious activity from the signal. It does not speak, 
but turns its attentions inward. It is not attacking the network, but digging within it, decrypting. You capturing the Vex's attention seems to be a great help. The signal thanks you. It seizes the reclaimed data and draws it deep into a secure corner of the network. It seems to delight in study and says, I should stop bothering it. The voice is Vex in origin, but contains an echo of humanity. I even sense traces of the light. There are logs in the deep networks about such anomalies, but I never dared imagine I would encounter one. Oh, there is much we can learn from it. A mass of encrypted data, hidden away by the signal. I will try to make sense of it. These appear to be notes compiled after countless simulations. Hypothesizing on the true nature of the pyramids. Uh, this, this is a schematic for a receiver that could override a Vex harpy. And here are uh, personal messages, letters composed but unable to be sent. Uh, there, are, there are names here. Yours is among them. Uh, I see Gallant and, and Mystic. Uh, they must be Ikora and Eris. Who is Vuvu Zela? Oh, now the signal abruptly revoked my access. How regrettable. The signal. Oh, a burst of irritability. No, 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 it is no simple signal. It is the great Ashramir. Oh, designation means nothing to me, Guardian. Someone from your many travels, perhaps? Be cautious. The next mind refines, improves, and reforms. Ashermere rejoices in its destruction. Rally up, Guardian. I won't say we got the Shadow Legion on the ropes just yet, but we're making progress. I meant to ask, how are you handling all this Queen's Guard stuff? Only thing that's changed for me is that Crow bowed and asked if he should call me Lady Amanda of Holiday. I told him to call me whatever he wants. I'm just glad he's finally recognizing my natural authority. Anyway, I like how things have been shaking out lately. Tearing through magic planes to bust into a Shadow Legion ship uninvited. That's the kind of entrance Cade would have liked. <laughs> Enough talk. Let's get back out there. Guardian, I'm glad I caught you. Mithrax and Amanda are out on patrol and called for a touch of backup. Seems they picked up another distress signal, and the outpost is absolutely crawling with Shadow Legion. I was surprised they called it in. Makes me think the odds are worse than they're letting on. Usually those two can take care of themselves. I'm sending you their signal now. Head over and back them up, won't you? Our scanners picked up a distress signal coming from a prison facility in the EDZ. We reckon it's a new bunch of captives. Mithrax and I are fixing to break them out. I can splice the base security, but we will need a route for escape. That's where you come in, Guardian. Clear all opposition that we may lead the prisoners to safety. And do not engage your sparrow. The signal will alert our enemies. Everyone solid? Then let's go get our people back. Guardian, kick down their front door while we slip in the back. We'll meet you inside. Mizrax, I must speak with haste. Turn back now. This is not a fight you can win. 
You cannot share fear with us, Aramis, for the light provides. Leave these captives and live to see your great machine again. Pursue this quest and you will die. Mithrax? The ship stealer is allied with the voice in the darkness. But she does not speak lies. Perhaps there is something here we do not yet see. There's always something. I'm not leaving our people behind, no matter what. And I am with you. I think I found us an LZ, Guardian. We're going in through the roof. This was not the plan, Amanda Holiday. Are you certain the ship will fit? Well, only one way to find out. Spider hated when I did things like this. Now, I see why. And we're in. Next round's on you, Mithrax. Amanda and I will now locate the security terminal. Deal with those armored units and we'll meet you on the other side. I see you, Guardian. I'm in the surveillance room above. I'm splicing the security network now. I will soon locate the captives. Oh boy! Taking energy readings are spiking. Looks like you ain't done yet. This is a tactic of desperation. You near victory, Guardian. Ooh, glad we called you in for this one. We'd have been goners without you. I have located the prisoners. We are nearly ready for extraction. Gotcha. Soon as the Guardian secures the hatch, we'll get everyone the hell out of here. I'm here. In position? I have located the prisoners. Come with me. Quickly. It's gone into lockdown. We're trapped. I'm on it. Where's Amanda? Amanda, come in. Amanda. Are you there? Devotion. Bravery. Sacrifice. Devotion. 
Bravery. Sacrifice. Guardian, Zavala grieves, and... Misrax is recovering in the infirmary. How do you want to proceed? We have to regroup. Bury Amanda. And put her killers in the ground. They'll be expecting you. Good. Think with your head, not your heart. Grief is poor counsel. And yours is better? <sighs> Make arrangements for Amanda. The Guardian and I will handle it from here. If that's your wish. It is. I know you want it too. Vengeance. You'll be the first to know when it's time. I have lived for centuries upon centuries, Guardian. Though death has not lost its sting, it is a ritual whose movements are familiar to me. It has become easier to bear. But seeing loss twist the faces of those around me, Zavala, my brother, that is not. Amanda's absence will be felt deeply by those of us who knew her. Despair will be at our side where a friend once stood. So while it does not lighten the burden, let us hold this pain together. And when you lift your eyes, may you look only upon kind faces. I need to focus on the Queen's Guard now. When the time comes to strike back, we must all be strong. As strong as Amanda Holiday. Amanda could not be counseled otherwise, nor would she have been. This was her choice, and we must remember it with respect. Her death brings an emptiness. Commanders of honor, the crew, they feel her loss greatly. Holiday did not die for your grief. The Empress is indelicate. That is her grief. And this is mine. As leaders, we feel loss too often. I will not tell you not to mourn. Bear your sorrow, Misrax. But set aside your guilt. Let her memory inspire. Let her conviction light our way. Well said, Queen of the Awoken. Cabal carve our tusks with our victories, and they are recounted at our funeral rites. Holiday's victories will be remembered always. My first dawning, I didn't know anyone in the city. I was just a little kid, but Cade... Cade brought me up to the tower to hang out with the Guardians. It was the first time I felt... at home here. The Vax Network reforms its defenses. It protects knowledge earned through endless simulations. You and Ashamir must work together once more, attacking from the inside and out. The Vex cannot stand against you both. An entity consumed by Radiolaria would find themselves converted into raw resources. Their cells would be rewritten by the Vex. 
But not even that fate would explain Ashermere's ability to exist within the network itself. These ciphers are no obstacle to a splicer such as yourself. Every vex you destroy gives Ashermere more time. This morning and looked out across the gray mists of Trostland and I've got to tell you, my heart just wasn't in it. I didn't want justice or revenge. It wouldn't bring her back. I felt tired. I didn't want to fight anymore. But then, out in the distance, 
I spotted a deployment of Shadow Legion moving through the fog, pushing a group of prisoners before them. It's not about me. It's about them. So I picked up my rifle, and I got to work. We've got to fight on. Not just because we're in the Vanguard, or Queen's Guard, or because we're heroes, or all that rot. Because it's what Amanda would have done. And that's good enough for me. My hunters are tracking the orbital path of the Shadow Legion prison ship. Should be overhead soon. You have mastered the intricacies of my power, Guardian. This ascent is yours alone to make. It pains me to remember, Amanda. I would give much to tear the Shadow Legion fleet from the sky. I sympathize, but we can't risk the few resources we have. Our first responsibility is to the captives still up there. You speak... pain truths. I'm saddened to see such strategies from our enemies, but... not surprised. This is the way of the darkness. An oversimplification. Many atrocities were committed by the light bearers of old just as well. It is the wielder, not the tool, that determines its use. Just look to the Awoken. We use light and darkness in equal measure, and we have always found our way. Well... not always. We've all died countless deaths. But we still only feel loss from the outside in. Holiday. She died doing what was necessary to protect the people of the city. She didn't do it out of obligation or circumstance. She knew it had to be done. And she believed in it to the end. She had one life. And she used it to save us. She set an example for us all. I... I don't know what else to say. Amanda. I would give my light, my last life, if it would bring her back. I've begged before. It's a false hope. A lie. At every loss, the traveler is silent. Each path I take leads me to a grave. Cade. Sophia. Hakim. I failed them all. I love you, Amanda. I am so proud of you. Forgive me. One cannot hear Zavala's words and remain unmoved. That man has borne suffering enough for many lifetimes. That is the price we pay for opening our hearts. And as the voice in the darkness extends its reach, we know only that few will finish this journey with us, for the path is long. As the nebulae whirl and billow above us, we remain. We endure. This is our privilege. 
our duty and our curse. Take heart, Guardian. Know that we will endure together. Crow. What do you want? I wish to speak with you. I don't have time for this. Or for you. We've all lost someone dear to us. If you mean me, you don't show it. I wanted to. But I held my heart so closely that I smothered it. I don't want to see you do the same. You don't know me. Stop talking like you do. I know how we grieve. It is raw and violent. I know we believe that keeping others away from it will protect them. But we don't do it to protect them. We do it to protect ourselves. We do it because it is easy. Nothing about this is easy. You didn't know her. Then tell me who she was. She was... She was a sunrise. Grieve its setting. But do not turn your grief to armor. Let us bear you through it. I'll try. I know you will. This bickering is pointless. We need to cut through the noise. Mara and I have been talking, and we came to the same conclusion. It's time to act. The witness sees our connection to each other as a weakness to exploit. It's counting on us not risking more lives in another attack. But if Amanda were here, I think she'd tell us it's time to play some offense. Mara's focusing all her energy directly through you, Guardian. We need you to blaze through the Ascendant Plane one last time. But it won't be without backup. We're all going. Mara says your power is strong enough to sweep us up in your astral wake. When you come out on the Shadow Legion flagship, we'll be right there with you. Lead the charge, Guardian. Let's finish what they started. Guardian, with your light and the power which I have imbued, you have grasped the Ascendant Plane in total and may traverse it at will. We are poised for a victory. It is time to strike. The Shadow Legion flagship is a stain on your sky. Destroy it, and find joy in its destruction. We will travel the Ascendant Plane by Mara Kell's grace, and aid you in your attack. We'll follow your lead. Get inside that ship, and we'll all take it down together. Never fear, Guardian. We'll be your support as you find a path to the ship's engine. Go. Find your retribution. Deliver justice as Queen's Guard. In all my years fighting back the Taken, I never thought I'd set foot in the Ascendant Plane. Arakel's power is considerable, but it is not boundless. We must use this opportunity wisely. That's right. We have our breach points. Make this count. Find a way through that ship, Guardian. Crow, Mithrax, and I will bring down the Shadow Legion's commanders one by one. I'm going to enjoy this. Likewise. Mithrax? I am ready to cut them down. We will break their ship and watch it fall from our sky. Remember what they took from us. Don't let anything stand in your way. Charges on. Detonating ammunition storage now. There. It took out their firepower. Cheers. Barakel's Corsairs are with me. We are ready. Good. Debrim's providing cover. Let's move. I have them in my sights. Don't worry, Guardian. We've got things handled on our end. Accept my power, Guardian, and tear down their defenses with your light. Those cooling fans are the only thing stopping the engine from going critical. You'll have to destroy those generators first. 
Earlier, I took out the legionary with the biggest helmet. Had to be their leader. They're headless now, uh, so to speak. You're clear to bring down those engineers. Then that engine is all yours. Destroy the engine and take down this ship. Marakel will bring us back safely. Complete your mission, Guardian. And have a little fun with it. Oh, no. There are many battles to come, but we have this victory today. Every civilian in the EDZ can see what we've done. They know we're keeping them safe from whatever the witness wants with them. Well done, Guardian. You too, lads. We made quite the team up there. We made the Shadow Legion hurt. We showed them that we can strike back. In this, we honor Amanda's memory. You did it, Guardian. And thanks for taking us along for the ride. Felt good to get a few shots in. You make one hell of a Queen's Guard. Wish it didn't have to end, but Mara won't be able to channel her energy out forever. She'd deny it, but she's getting tired. Even if the power of the Awoken fades, you'll always have their gratitude. And Mara's. And mine. There are still pockets of prisoners out there. Devrim and Misrax will keep running rescue efforts as long as it takes. I'll be here too. We can't protect everyone, but helping who we can, there's nothing more important than that. See you around, Guardian. Holiday. I know the Traveler won't bring you back. But if it did, you wouldn't remember any of us or who you were. You wouldn't remember what you did. Tradition would dictate I not tell you. But I think I would. I would hold your hand and tell you that you were the best of us. Fearless. Skilled, stubborn, brave and principled, even to the end. And I would tell you how much you meant to the people who loved you. I know that if you became a guardian, you would be all those things again. Thank you for what you did.